We're here at the Coast Guard Lifeboat Station Museum in Port Orford, Oregon, located on a point west of town on Coast Guard Hill. This lifeboat station was commissioned in 1934 and, and decommissioned in 1970. Now this is the administration office and crew quarters that became a museum in the year 2000. Now here's an aerial view from the late 30s in the watchtower, in the boathouse, and photographs of the uh, crew quarters as they were taken over the years. And you can see how the trees have grown up over that period of time. Now this museum is open daily, Wednesday through Monday, from 10 until 3.30. Inside you will find storyboards, displays, and artifacts that will acquaint you with the history of this lifeboat station and the surrounding area. Now this main room features a model of the Coast Guard Station and Head State Park, so you can decide which trails you'd like to take. There are many historical photographs on display. Now the World War II era is especially interesting. You can learn about the Japanese submarine that surfaced and launched an aircraft attack against the southern Oregon coast. And you can get an idea of what it was like to live in these quarters and brave the winter storms during rescue missions. You can see the shipwrecks along the coast and rescues made by the Coast Guard crews that were stationed here. Now, founded over 150 years ago, the city of Port Orford was the first non-Native American settlement on the Oregon coast. And the history of the logging and fishing industries that have employed so many of the local residents is also presented. And you can shop in our gift locker where you can buy some interesting local books, clothing, and have a set of vintage World War II dog tags made. And now through the use of a radio controlled helicopter, we'll show you an aerial view of the museum and the surrounding area. This is one of the 36 foot uh, lifeboats that was in service here at uh, one time. It was commissioned in 1946 and decommissioned in 1981. And uh, you can see the roof here of the uh, museum as we rotate uh, to the east. And then as we rise above the trees, you can see the Pacific Ocean to the west and the sea stack out there in the ocean. The trees in the uh, park here are primarily spruce. There's also some firs and shore pines. You can see some of the rocks out there, which is the primary reason this uh, uh, lifeboat station was needed. And as we rotate uh, to the east, you can see Humbug Mountain State Park, uh, the city of Port Orford, Lake Garrison, Agate Beach, and Cape Blanco. The uh, small cluster of houses there to the right is uh, actually the original site of Coast Guard housing. And then as we descend, you'll be able to see the parking area there behind the garage and storage building. It's, it actually forms a loop so that uh, large motorhomes and RVs can easily pull in and park and then turn around. You can see the officer in charge residence there on the right. Now that's occupied by a park ranger and his family. And now we'll uh, come down in front of the, uh, the museum. And from here, you can uh, head out to any of the three trails. After you visit the museum, you'll want to hike the trails of Head State Park. Now there are three main trails plus a path that goes down to the Pacific Ocean and Agate Beach Overlook. Now we're looking at the Cove Trail on the east side that goes down to Nellis Cove. Now this is the location of the boathouse where the lifeboats were launched. Now, during certain times of the year, starfish migrate and attach themselves along the rocks just above the water level. Now, this is the center trail that goes out to the observation tower. You'll walk through a forested area of tall spruce and Douglas firs. Now, the sidewalk on this trail was used by Coast Guard crew members as they went to and from the tower. 
During the fall and spring months, you can see Canada geese as they rest on these rocks during their migration. And now we're on the western trail overlooking the Pacific Ocean. And from this trail, you can see the rocks and the sea stacks out in the ocean. Uh, you can watch the seals down below, seabirds flying overhead, and if you're very patient, an occasional migrating whale. Now we have some benches along the trails for resting and just taking in the view. You can hear the ocean and see the waves crashing on the rocks, feel the cool breeze and smell the salty air. I really enjoy this view. Now fences on these trails help to keep the trails safer for children. At this overlook uh, you can see Agate Beach and uh, Cape Blanco to the north. If you have time be sure to visit the Cape Blanco Lighthouse. The road uh, going out to the lighthouse is about five miles north of Port Orford on Highway 101. Now if you look real close, you'll notice some white spots down here on these rocks. These are actually seals sunbathing on the rocks. So come visit the Coast Guard Museum. Here are the directions. And thanks for watching.